channel Code with Neha. So today I am back with another interesting topic. Hope you all will like it. So without any further delay, let's get started. In my previous video, I have discussed about unique constraint in MySQL. You can check the video from the above i button. Today I am going to discuss about MySQL auto increment so without any further delay let's get started in mysql auto increment constraint is used to generate a unique identifier for new rows in a table it's usually associated with primary key constraint it helps to achieve that each record possesses a unique value which is rather important for searching data syntax create table table name within bracket column 1 data type auto increment column 2 data type and so on then mentioning primary key within bracket column 1 or create table table name within bracket column 1 data type auto increment primary key comma column 2 data type so on for an existing table you can add auto increment using alter table table name modify column name data type auto increment so let's apply this with some examples creating a database named company 321 then creating a table employee so the column names are emp id emp name email id department id and department name then declaring their data type emp id will be the primary key so using auto increment just before primary key and rest columns will be the same as we did earlier select and run the query to create the table dsc employee to see the description of the table here the insert into statement will be slightly different as emp id will be auto incremented so insert into employee within bracket mention all the column names except emp id then values within bracket all the values of the corresponding columns select asterisks from employee to view the table if we want to set the auto increment to another value the query will be alter table employee auto increment equals to 100 you will see the query will not work as mysql does not allow to set auto increment values if values are already inserted as sometimes auto incremented value will be higher than the current maximum value in the column
So, to solve the problem, first delete from employee which will delete all the values in the table, then use alter table employee auto increment equals to 100, followed by inserting the values in the table. Now you will see the new auto incremented value will be shown in the ENP ID column. That's all for today. Hope you all will get some help from this video. If it's so, then don't forget to subscribe my channel Code with Neha and press the bell icon for regular updates. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.